I'm about to show you how to use Facebook ads, ClickFunnels, and ManyChat as a sales funnel to warm up your prospects, warm up that cold traffic, turn them into Messenger Bot subscribers, email list subscribers, and get them to become customers of your product or service. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned because this is gonna be a very high value educational video where you're gonna learn how to build some great assets. But first, before we jump into it, I gotta tell you about our free PDF and video walkthrough free digital download. This is gonna teach you the 11 crucial features that your ManyChat Messenger Bot must have. It is gonna teach you all about ManyChat and what you need to be putting inside your Messenger Bot. Now, if you wanna get this free PDF download and video walkthrough, all you need to do is head over to bit.ly slash mccheatsheet. That's bit.ly slash mccheatsheet. Make sure that you're logged into Messenger, and then when that message window opens, be sure to type in the keyword learn, and that's gonna guarantee guarantee that you get access to the PDF download and the video walkthrough. So now let's go ahead and jump into the back end of the Facebook Ads Manager, ClickFunnels, and ManyChat so I can show you how we have set up this comprehensive funnel for one of our clients and to show you how we are driving them to a piece of content. That piece of content has call to actions to get them to opt into the Messenger Bot. Then in that Messenger Bot, we're asking them questions, figuring out more about them. Those answers are being zapped over to a Google Sheet and sent over to the client in an email so that the client can then follow up with those leads that come in. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so here we are in the Facebook Ads Manager and we have multiple campaigns running right now. Now we just launched these campaigns just a little bit ago, but this is a campaign, this is a system that we do for a lot of our clients. So you know what we're doing here is a lot of split testing in the beginning, we're gathering data, we're building our custom audiences, and we are driving traffic to our pieces of content. Now what we've created are these blog pieces of content. So in ClickFunnels, we we create these blog landing pages and on these blog landing pages we have multiple call to action buttons, multiple call to action type of growth tools that are used inside of ManyChat to get people to opt into the Messenger bot and to give them this free digital download that we have created to help them learn more and get educated about the offer that we're going to be giving them. So. Just to show you the different campaigns that we have running, we got a conversion campaign, got a traffic campaign, messages, and video views. So let me explain the reasoning behind all these different campaigns. Ultimately, they are driving traffic to two different places. One is going straight into Messenger with the messages campaign, and the other one is getting video views, and then we're driving traffic to the blog style landing pages. So the conversion campaign, let's just start with that one. Basically, that is driving traffic to the actual blog landing pages. So with this client, they are a life insurance settlement type of agent. So they are an agent that sells life insurance policies. And then when you are, let's say you're getting near the age of death and you have outlived your retirement, uh, you're getting near the age of death, you're getting near the point where you are about to die, right? So you are, maybe you've outlived your retirement savings and you need to get some cash quick because you have no more cash and you need to continue living, right? You're not gonna die you know, within the next month or two, so you need to get some cash. So you decide to sell your life insurance policy to get cash now, and then you can continue living, and then that company who buys your life insurance policy from you would then be the beneficiary when you die, they will go ahead and get that uh, payment that gets paid out you know, with life insurance, right? So we're driving traffic to these different blogs that we have. We have one called the five qualifications, five reasons to sell, three reasons seniors sell. So just, this is kind of our targeting is like 65 plus, they're interested in messenger, they're interested in life insurance, things like that. I can give you a quick peek into the ad set, but um, this video is not so much about the small details of all the little, you know, ad set targeting ad components. It's more about the overall funnel to show you that we're doing Facebook ads to click funnels to many chat and just kind of how the overall funnel is built out and frameworked really. So, you know, right now we're starting off small, just a $3 a day budget with this ad set. We're optimizing for view content because really all the call to actions are to get them to opt into Messenger and at this point in time, you are not able to track conversions with getting people to opt into Messenger from a landing page. It would be great, I can't wait till this rolls out, but when a conversion event or pixel event is able to be put inside Messenger, like they are a lead if they get to a certain message in your message flow, that's gonna be amazing. I 
you know, I keep messaging my, Michael, the dude that created mini chat and seeing if he can put that out there. So if any of you people are watching this and you are connected with the mini chat team, tell them to create a conversion event code where we can track conversions inside mini chat. Anyway, right now we're just optimizing for view content, meaning they click on that ad, they view that actual blog landing page and that is a conversion right there. So that's what I would recommend to you. You know, if you're doing this kind of um, opt-ins where it's not like they're opting in as a lead in with on the actual form, they're filling out a form and then they're getting to a confirmation page and then the lead event code is firing. You know, we're not able to track conversions, so we're just doing an event uh, view content type of event. Um, so, you know, as far as the targeting, just targeting people that are interested in Messenger, they use Messenger because ultimately that's where we want them to end up. That's where we're gonna collect their information is with ManyChat and Messenger and then their interests are life insurance, insurance in general, they're 65 plus. Uh, really the goal, because we're, we've created videos for this client, um, the goal is to get people watching the videos, build those custom audiences inside Facebook of video views, and then to be able to retarget them with driving them directly into Messenger. So this is the conversions campaign, driving them to that piece of content. The goal here is to get cold traffic to the blog landing page, they consume those pieces of content, and then we retarget them with a messages type of ad that's going to push them to opt into Messenger. So again, just some basic stuff, just basically getting them into our overall ecosystem, getting them watching the videos, and I'll show you the video now. We're split testing between this video right here that we created and the actual I think this is just an image ad, but it's got the same copy right there. So really we're split testing between seeing which one is getting a better click-through rate, which one's getting a better cost per conversion, which is that you know view content event code, things like that. So you know, cold traffic to the blog style landing page is the goal of that campaign. Now in the traffic campaign, very similar, just getting people to the landing page. So we're just doing, uh, we're optimizing for landing page views. We're just driving them to the website. Uh, very similar targeting, interested in insurance, 65 plus, um, things like that. So these type of campaigns are really just for audience building. I mean, yeah, audience, custom audience building, getting people as that first touch point ad, introducing them to the brand, introducing them to the idea of selling their insurance policy and things like that because then once we get them into the overall ecosystem, the goal is to then retarget them with the messages objective to get them to opt into Messenger where we can collect their information and get them as an actual lead and continue marketing to them over and over. So what we are doing here in the messages campaign is we are testing driving you know, cold traffic directly into Messenger to see how that converts. So very similar targeting here. We're not only targeting the 65 plus community, the people that would actually be selling their life insurance policy, but we're also targeting their children. So people that are aged 35 to 55, 35 to 60. Uh, so the, the children of the older people, the people that are in their 70s and 80s, that's who we're also testing, targeting, and driving them directly into Messenger and then retargeting everybody in the ecosystem to drive them back into Messenger. And then the video views campaign is to just get people watching the videos. It's not so much to get them to click through to the landing page, it's really to get them to just watch that video so that we can create that custom audience based off of video views and then be able to drive them, <laughs> retarget them and drive them into Messenger. So right now a lot of just you know, like I say, audience building, data gathering, really, because it's so new in these campaigns, but um, we're using multiple different objectives. And then once we really start to have some substantial custom audiences that we can then retarget, then we're gonna be changing up the retargeting strategy, changing up launching some new ad sets to actually retarget some of these people. Like what we may do with the traffic objective is, is we may launch some new ad sets using the click to messenger so right now it's just you know website and page view, but we'll probably switch this up and we'll launch some new ad sets, getting them to click directly into Messenger uh, once we have that retargeting you know, ecosystem pretty substantial. So that is what's happening on the Facebook side. These are the actual landing pages that we are driving them to. So I'll show you some of these and I'll show you what these growth tools look like because this is really the cool stuff right here. So. 
This is one of the grill tools right here. It's an embeddable little box. So it just looks kind of like an ad or a, just an image inside there. They can easily click that to get their free guide and consultation. They click below there. Got some more copy images, just kind of telling them about this whole selling, this whole idea of selling their life insurance policy. Then right here, we have a messenger ref URL. If they click here, it's gonna hit them with the messenger ref URL tool, opt them into messenger. And then as you just saw here, this little slide in type of grill tool slides in and shows them that call to action. And then they have another call to action right here, the big old button and these hyperlinked uh, texts right there are also me messenger ref URL grill tools. So right there on this landing page, we're using three, got the little box, got the slide in and the messenger ref URL, and then the retargeting strategy that we're using straight from a Facebook ad directly to messenger that is using the JSON grill tool. So all together, we are using four different grill tools. We have all these different landing pages that we are testing and all these are just different blog pieces of content. So content is a huge strategy of ours. We are constantly using content to market to cold traffic, warm up you know, traffic that's already engaged with our brand, educate them on what we're needing them to learn as far as you know, what they need to learn, the features and benefits, the, the opportunity and what is even possible. So we use a lot of content and our main forms of content is in blog landing pages and in videos that we create for our clients. So that is pretty much the ClickFunnels stuff. All of these ClickFunnels pages are optimizing for view content. So you can see right here, view content event code is on that page because with the conversions campaign, we're driving them directly to the page and the uh, conversion window is a one day clicker view because you know they click on that ad, loads up the landing page, fires that event code. So our goal is to get very low cost per view content views. That is the goal with that conversions campaign. And then everybody who visits this website or clicks on that ad is getting retargeted with the JSON Facebook ad, you know, objective being messenger. So now let's go ahead and jump into the many chat side. This is in the growth tools section right here. So like I mentioned, we got the four growth tools. We just launched this campaign just a little bit ago. So this data, I wouldn't even trust this data at all. It's very new, but this is just kind of the, you know, what we have set up here. So this is going to hit them with this opt-in message. And then after they receive that opt-in message, it is going to start a flow. Now how we basically have it is if you can think of a wheel, you got the axle of the wheel, and then you got all these different spokes, right? So the spokes that all lead to the axle are kind of the different growth tools and the different opt-in messages which with each of those growth tools. Now the axle is basically that flow, that opt-in flow where, you know, no matter where they come in from a JSON growth tool or a ref URL growth tool, they're gonna be put into this one flow. So it makes it a lot easier for editing, making any changes down the line and things like that because ultimately everybody is going into the same message flow. So this is the message flow right here. Basically it is saying, you know, great, just need a little bit of more information from you. And then we go through a series of questions asking them, are you the life insurance policy holder or are you, you know, basically what I mentioned before as far as like the, the people that are actually in their 70s or 80s versus their children. So we're trying to quickly segment, okay, are you a child of somebody that is in their late age or are you the actual person that is in their late age? We ask them that and then it goes down the different flows, collecting their email address, looks like their phone number, how old they are, qualifying questions like that. And then we give them the free guide where they can actually download that. And then we have a smart delay which after 23 hours opens up another flow and it's kind of like a follow-up flow, seeing if they actually got the free download and things like that. So, you know, I'm not gonna go too far in depth on all the little granular details of the message flow that we built out or the click funnels or the Facebook ads. Those could each be individual videos on their own, but I just wanted to give you that idea of how we're running Facebook ads using multiple objectives, driving traffic to 
the ClickFunnels pieces of blog content and then retargeting that, driving them over to uh, directly into Messenger or just retargeting them and driving them back to the piece of content, getting them to opt in through those different pieces of content. And then once they're inside ManyChat and inside Messenger and we got them as a subscriber, then we're just gonna keep on hitting them. We have follow-up sequences built out, message sequences that are you know, reminding them to book a call with us or reminding them to watch this piece of content or consume this piece of content, warming them up as leads so that when the client does reach out to them and start talking with them about the next steps, if they do qualify, if they're the right fit for getting a life settlement, then the client already has a lot of heavy lifting already done because the lead has consumed multiple pieces of content. They've probably learned a lot more so they don't have as many questions there's they've answered the content has basically answered a lot of those frequently asked questions so we're saving time for our client on on every call he's not having to answer the same questions over and over and over because the content has already done a great job of answering all those questions and informing those leads on everything so if you haven't yet grabbed our free PDF cheat sheet and video walkthrough, then head over to bit.ly slash MC cheat sheet to pick up our 11 crucial features that your ManyChat Messenger bot must have. Again, that's bit.ly slash MC cheat sheet, bit.ly slash MC cheat sheet. It's gonna open up a Facebook Messenger window, so make sure that you're signed into Messenger, and then when that window opens, type in the keyword learn. <laughs> Keep hitting the dang mic. Type in the keyword to learn to make sure that you get your access to that cheat sheet in PDF form and in video walkthrough. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.